pull out. Make another circuit. TCA on final. TCA flight six is Montreal Tower. Clear to land. Wheels down. At 7.55 every morning, Flight 6 lands at Dorval Airport in Montreal. And every day, under the streamlined routine of the country's air transport and postal services, there's a lot more than meets the casual eye. Inside the blue and yellow airmail bags are hopes and fears, dreams and plans. White envelopes, brown envelopes, red and blue bordered envelopes, addressed in pencil, blotted in ink, typewritten, stenciled, the art and science of human communication. And almost every piece of mail carries its own story. Take this now. Sometime yesterday, in Vancouver, in a plans department of a shipyard, a young Canadian got a new idea. An elevator built right inside a transport ferry. Photographed on microfilm, like an air graph letter, the plans are ready for compact shipping to the Admiralty in London. Their swift approval means that these ships, now in construction for the Pacific campaign, can unload men and tanks in half the time it now takes. A post office was always a busy spot, but with its extra wartime jobs, it's as rushed all day as a railway station at train time. The little million dollar packet of microfilm, London bound for 90 cents, is received into the hands of Canada Post. For the microfilm's 5,000 mile hop, Canada's oldest public service joins hands with its youngest. Attention please, announcing departure of TransCan Airlines Flight 6 for Lethbridge, Regina, Winnipeg, Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal. Heading for the prairies, Flight 6 with its cargo is on the first lap of its transcontinental run. Now take this letter. Its story begins yesterday in Germany. Okay, you guys. Break for 10 minutes. In a Canadian patrol, there's a young chap. Let's call him Bill. While his buddies grab a smoke or read old letters for the 10th time, Bill looks at a dog-eared snapshot. Why is he doing that? It's the girl he wants to marry. He wrote last week and asked her, but already he's worrying for a reply and is beginning to think that maybe his pal Joe was right when he said women are poison. But it seems that a proposal is not easy to answer on paper. What with the search for the right word, and inconvenient interruptions by the boss. With the letter written, it's an urgent matter to get it off on the next mail. By hook or by crook.
at 1.55 a.m., Flight 6, carrying the microfilm from Vancouver, lands at Winnipeg to pick up the blue air letter to Bill and continues on its journey. Out of Toronto, in the morning light, at 190 miles an hour, Flight 6 wings its way over the complex web of earthborne traffic, over the towers of the nation's capital, down into the valley of the St. Lawrence. In Montreal, the microfilm from Vancouver and the blue air letter from Winnipeg are ready for the next act of the drama. Along with three and a half tons of other air mail, they're headed overseas. Three times a week over the North Atlantic, high above the gales and snow, are flown 400,000 air mail letters and parcels in the Canadian cargo-carrying version of the Lancaster bomber. Hundreds of bags bulging with letters for our boys overseas, prisoner of war parcels, business and diplomatic mail, all are under the watchful eye of the post office, checking the cargo destined for London, Paris, Lisbon, Moscow, and Chongqing. It's a non-stop 12-hour flight to Prestwick, Scotland, but to the crew, it's a routine hop. At 1,400 hours, TCA Lancaster 104 is ready to lift its 30 tons into the air. hours after leaving Vancouver. The microplans are at the Admiralty in London. The experts are anxious to see them. Back in Vancouver, the young naval architect is waiting. It's good. The new elevator will be built right into the new transport ferry. Production to start immediately. And come and get it! The blue air letter has traveled far since Bill's girl threw it into the mailbag. To reach the battlefield, it has passed through the friendly hands of the postal clerk, the sorter, the mail truck driver, the sure hands of the plane loader, the TCA pilot. A letter with a 10-cent airmail stamp. The good news from home. Flight 6 brings the promise of his future and the future of a world in the air.